All right, we're here with Futsum Zinnasalasi and Philemon Adhanam from North Central High School. Uh, Futsum, I know this is your first time running at the Miracle Mile. Uh, you know, last week we saw Jason Christ and Chris Walden, two of the best distance guys in the state, both break uh, nine minutes for two miles at the Arcadia Invite. Just wondering what your thoughts were. You know, we're seeing a lot of real talent this year in Indiana, and uh, with you being the defending state champ in the 3200 both years, and then the defending cross country champion this past fall, and last year as a sophomore, you know, there's a, there's a lot of talent this year, and it's, it's going to be tough to repeat. So what are you thinking, not only about this race, but, this race, but uh, later on in the season? Well, great job to Jason Chris and uh, Chris Walden on the arcade race. Um, yep, we have uh, great competitions this year, 2011. Uh, a lot of the runners, there's a lot of guys who break 910. Uh, because of that, uh, me and, uh, and my team, we've been, been working hard, been running uh, a little bit more mileage and working a bunch of uh, KSB workouts. So I think uh, I just need uh, a great competition with uh, great guys and uh, I hope I would break nine before, uh, before six. So I'm just looking forward to a, a great competition and uh, test myself on the two mile. And uh, I think I will do that. Uh, or the other races. Mm -hmm. Now, you're known for being one of the best 3,200 meters in the state. Um, your freshman year and your sophomore year, you opted out of running the 1,600 in the tournament. Um, you know, tonight is your big, is your first big, you know, showcase mile. Um, what are your thoughts going into that? Well, after freshman, uh, I want to run this miracle mile because uh, there's great runners, and uh, I never run a, a mile with a fast hit before. But uh, this year, um, this is uh, only my chance. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, never run with great, I mean, great guys or best, faster PR than mine, like Chris Walden, Jason, Chris Oliver, and Connor Martin have a great time right now. So I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, I'm looking for a PR for myself. It's going to be a great race. All right, now I got both you guys on camera and I film on. So um, I know. You know, we had the indoor state um, a little bit less, less than I think three or four weeks ago. Um, you guys had a DMR in there. Um, you guys may have had some other relays. You know, what were your guys' thoughts on the indoor season? Um, are you guys thinking about doing any relays for the outdoor season? And kind of talk about, you know, you two being the, the noticeable leaders for your team. How you guys going to make those decisions and how you think that will pan out for the rest of the outdoor season? Well, last year we had... Um, two sprinters and a long jumper who placed at state and they all graduated and this year has not been uh, I mean it, we haven't been able to replace those guys yet so as far as uh, as far as indoor season goes we've never put any emphasis on the indoor season it's just like just to see where we're at and plus we don't have <laughs> we don't have um, we don't have an indoor facility at all our, at our school so we have to like run through the hallways and stuff so I, we never cared about the indoor season and our DMR um, I guess we did a, 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 when did we finish? Like seven? Yeah, something like that. We finished seven. So, uh, you know, I mean, it wasn't like anything that we were celebrating or we were looking down upon or anything like that. It's all about the outdoor season with us. Yeah, yeah. And as far as realize goes, it's outdoor between me and Futsal, I don't think that's going to happen. He used to do the 4x8 32 kind of stuff during the tournament. Um, our 4x8s aren't, I mean, we don't have. We, they're, all, people for, uh, they're all young, you know? They have, yeah, we have young talent. Um, I'm not an 800 runner at all. Um, so uh, yeah, I wouldn't be doing that with him. And we were gonna run the. We do have a meet tomorrow. The four way north side relays. There's a DMR in that. Futsum's not gonna run it though. So. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, but uh, I think we're uh, this year we we got more focus on the two mile both of us. Uh, I don't know how how Phil is going to change sectional or regional, but uh, for right now, I think after uh, this race and tomorrow uh, we are gonna work together for the two mile. Great, great. So, uh, you know, Futsum, obviously a junior, still got a lot of time ahead of you. Now, Philemon, we know you're going to IU next year. And, um, you know, any big goals as your last, you know, year as a, or as a, as a senior in high school? Well, it's no surprise that I'm way better at cross-country than I am in track. <laughs> and I haven't been, I haven't been to the state meet at track yet. I got disqualified last year. Uh, the conflict with Jason Horde. Yeah. <laughs> So I got disqualified last year at our sectional. Um, I was hoping to make it. I was kind of disappointed I didn't. Uh, so I haven't ran at the state meet at all yet. Mm -hmm. um, my sophomore year, I went, I've made it to regionals. That's the furthest I've gotten in track. And I went for a 428 mile. 
Mm -hmm. um, that's the fastest mile I've ever ran. I haven't ran a competitive mile since. <laughs> I ran a competitive mile since then. We're going to change so. that today. Yeah, we're going to change <laughs> I mean, that today. Yeah, my coach for sure. this race told me that I could beat my sophomore time in the mile. Um, I'm look, or I want under 420, that's the goal. But I mean, it's really windy, so we'll see what happens. Well, it should be a great race. I know last year, um, just on the north central side, you know, you had Connor Gachet, who gets 10th at the state meet in cross country, um, you know, had a tough time making or didn't make it to the state meet in track. So hopefully this year's a top 10. Both top 10 finishers from North Central this year will both see in Bloomington come June. So tonight should be exciting. Both Flotsam and Philmon running for a fast times tonight at the Franklin Central Miracle Mile. Thanks, guys. Thank you.